Hi there, this is English, and I'm Juan. Past continuous. So we're starting with new vocabulary here. Punt. Punt is a long, narrow, flat bottomed boat, square at both ends, and pro propelled with a long pole, used on inland waters chiefly for recreation. Collocation to go punting. To go punting. We always go punting. Shine. Shine. Of the sun or another source of light, give out a bright light. The sun shone through the window. Arrive. Arrive. Arrive, is, it means to reach a place at the end of a journey or a stage in a journey. An example, we will arrive in Bishkek at 1430. Favorite. Favorite. Preferred to all others of the same kind. Example, their favorite Italian restaurant. Reserve. Reserve. Reserve keep for future use. Roll out half the dough and reserve the other half. Wildlife. Wildlife. Wild animals collect only the native fauna and sometimes flora of the region. There are a lot of animals in the wildlife. Close up. Close up. Very near. That was the first close up shot on camera. Remind. Remind. Cause someone to remember someone or something. Collocation to remind somebody of something. Please remind me of doing the task later. Stork. What you can see in the picture, in the photo, is a stork. And flamingo, this one is a flamingo. Good. Now we'll carry on with the other stuff. Now, you should listen to six sentences and complete the missing words. Please go. 2.14 one. It was my first term at university. Two. I was staying with him in the Easter holidays. Three. We were doing a music course. Four. We were at school together. Five. She took this when we were visiting the Colosseum. Six. We were all drinking champagne, and Roz was doing the hard work. <laughs> so, the first one, it was my first term at university. Two, I was staying with him in the, lo in the Easter holidays. Three, we were doing a music course. Four, we were at school together. Five, she took this when we were visiting the Coliseum. Six, we were all drinking champagne, and Roz was doing the hard work. Right now, please listen to Anya talking about the photos you can see. And then label the photos 1 to 6 in the order you hear. Please listen. 2.15 1. This is me and my mum in York. It was my first term at university and she came to visit me and I took her on a tour around the city. Is that uh, the cathedral there? Yes. Well, it's called York Minster, but it's really a cathedral. Ah. Oh. Two. And this one's on the beach in Cornwall with my boyfriend, Ollie. I was staying with him in the Easter holidays, and he took me to the beach, and we went for a walk. <laughs> it looks windy. Yes, it was really windy and cold. I think we were the only people on the beach. Three. Nice photo. I like the moustache. <laughs> yeah, that's me and my friend Maisie. We were doing a music course. I do it twice a year, and this was at the party at the end of the course. <laughs> Why are there moustaches in the picture frame? <laughs> there was this corner that the teachers made where people could take funny photos with the big frame and hats and moustaches and things. Four. 
OK, this one is me and two of my best friends. We were at school together. One of them, Libby, the one on my right, has a house by the river and we went there in September before we all went to university. Five. That's a nice photo. In Rome, I guess. Yes. I was there for a holiday with my mum the summer before I went to university. She took this when we were visiting the Colosseum, as you can see. Six. That's your mum again, isn't it? Yes, that's her and her partner and my sister Roz on the river in Oxford. My mum's birthday is in July and every year we go punting and then we go for dinner. We were all drinking champagne and Roz was doing the hard work. <laughs> Are any of the photos selfies? <laughs> yes, the one of me and my mum and the one on the beach. So, let's check it now. So, number one is A, two, C, three, A, four, F, and five, B, and six, D. Fascinating job. Past continues. So, at 8.45 last Saturday, I was walking in the park. The birds were singing. It wasn't raining. Uh, was it raining when you got up? No, it wasn't. What were you doing at 11 o'clock last night? I was watching TV. So, past continues, the structure is subject plus was working. So, we use was after I, he, she, it. And we use were after you, we, they. The negative form is wasn't, and for you, we, they is weren't. So, you weren't working, we weren't working. She wasn't working. Question form, you just switch the place of the subject and the to be. Was he working? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. That's when we ask the question. Were they working? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. So, we use the past continuous to describe an action in progress at a specific moment in the past. And we often use the past continuous to describe the situation at the beginning of the story. Example, in 1972, I was living in London. And then you continue the story. Well, past simple or past continuous. We were walking in the gardens when he took a photo of us. My sister arrived when I was having lunch. So, we often use the past continuous and the past simple together in the same sentence. Well, we use the past continuous to talk about a longer action that was happening in the background when the shorter past simple action happened. So, and now speaking of pronunciation, weak forms of was and were. The verb to be, you see here, am, is, are, was, were. The weak forms and strong forms for am. You could, you could say m um, or just m. Mm. A strong form is am, as in I am. Is, there's going to be is or z. His, his. Is, that's a strong form, he is, and are. And here you see the, the weak form, er, like you're, we're. And strong form is you are, we are. Was, weak form, was, he was, she was. And strong form, he was, she was. Where, we, and we have weak form, where, and strong form were, we were, they were, and we were, they were. Fascinating. Now, in this task, you should complete the sentence with the verb in the past continuous. I'll give you one minute. Please go.
So, number one, I took this photo when we were traveling in Greece. Two, he met his wife when he was living in Japan. Three, was she wearing a coat when she went out? Four, the sun was shining when I went to work. Five, what were you doing at 7.30 last night? Six, I wasn't listening when you gave the instructions. Seven, they weren't watching TV when I arrived. Eight, it started to rain when we were running in the park. Brilliant. The other task. In this task, you should put the verbs into the past simple or past continuous. As an example, she arrived when we were having dinner. You arrive and have. Please go. Again, one minute. So number one, I broke my arm when I was playing football. Two, were you driving fast when the police stopped you? Three, it was snowing when we were leaving the pub. Four, I didn't see the match because I was working. Five, when you called me, I was talking to my boss. Six, we're studying in Cambridge when we met. 7. Were they living in Rome when they had their first baby? Brilliant. And now, you remember Anya talking about the photos, about her photos. Now, you should listen to Anya again and mark the sentence T of F. T for true, F for false. Please listen and then do the task. 2.15 1. This is me and my mum in York. It was my first term at university and she came to visit me and I took her on a tour around the city. Is that uh, the cathedral there? Yes. Well, it's called York Minster, but it's really a cathedral. Ah. Oh. Two. And this one's on the beach in Cornwall with my boyfriend Ollie. I was staying with him in the Easter holidays. And he took me to the beach and we went for a walk. <laughs> it looks windy. Yes, it was really windy and cold. I think we were the only people on the beach. Three. Nice photo. I like the moustache. <laughs> yeah, that's me and my friend Maisie. We were doing a music course. I do it twice a year, and this was at the party at the end of the course. <laughs> Why are there moustaches in the picture frame? <laughs> there was this corner that the teachers made where people could take funny photos with the big frame and hats and moustaches and things. Four. OK, this one is me and two of my best friends. We were at school together. One of them, Libby, the one on my right, has a house by the river and we went there in September before we all went to university. Five. That's a nice photo. In Rome, I guess. Yes. I was there for a holiday with my mum the summer before I went to university. 
She took this when we were visiting the Colosseum, as you can see. Six. That's your mum again, isn't it? Yes, that's her and her partner and my sister Roz on the river in Oxford. My mum's birthday is in July and every year we go punting and then we go for dinner. We were all drinking champagne and Roz was doing the hard work. <laughs> Are any of the photos selfies? <laughs> yes, the one of me and my mum and the one on the beach. Two, the second photo she was in Cornwall. Two, three, it was windy and cold in Cornwall then. That's right, two. Four, they were doing music course in the third photo. True. Anya does music course once a year. Well, false. Six, Libby has a house in New Minister. Mm, that's false. Seven, the fifth photo her mom took it when they were visiting the Coliseum. That's true. In the last photo, they were celebrating her mother's birthday. That's true. Fascinating. Awesome. So, describing photos. Now, I want you to look at this photo and tell me, please, how would you describe this photo? Or how would you describe any photo? Well, now there's a task that you should complete. So read the description and complete when it with the words in the list at way in like of on with. Please go. You'll have one minute. So, I'm showing the answers. Number one, it's of two storks. I took the photo in the spring. I was on a holiday with some friends in Andalusia, in the south of Spain. And five, like storks and flamingos. Six, I love taking photos of animals and birds, but I'm not very good at it. 8. Because the stalks were quite far away from us on the top of the tree. And 9. I have it on my phone and as the background on my laptop. Well, let's call it a day. I'll catch you next time.